<laughs> well, that. Welcome to the Bomb Shelf. I'm Josh. I'm Eric. I'm Keith. And this is a bottle of whiskey. Roll intro! Joyce, can you tell the viewers at home what we're drinking today? Today you are drinking Ezra Brooks. Ezra Brooks is a Kentucky straight bourbon from Lux Row Distillers. It comes in at 90 proof. We paid $11 for our bottle, with it usually costing around 12 As always, your prices may vary. Enjoy. So, you know what we're drinking. I know what we're drinking. They don't. Definitely don't. <laughs> Weird. Weird. Yeah. Weird. I'm getting lime rind. Lime rind. I was getting yes. like a citrus zest. Yeah. So, definitely fruity. I'm getting vanilla. Vanilla and cantaloupe. Cantaloupe. I don't think I've, I don't think I've had enough cantaloupe to get cantaloupe. I don't like cantaloupe. That I think that's why I smell it because you know I, I smell cantaloupe and I'm like, ooh, stay away from. That. I was trying to put my nose on what the smell I was smelling was. It's cantaloupe or something, some some sort of melon. Yeah, but I'm leaning towards cantaloupe. Okay, melon, cantaloupe, interesting. I'm mostly just, like, I'm really stuck on that vanilla, but it's like, that's just like so prominent. I'm not getting vanilla. You also know what you're looking for. Yep, I also know what I'm looking for. So, so apparently there's some finished. vanilla notes. Well, I mean, I haven't read the notes. I read them at one point. I don't remember what they say exactly. I'm getting a... At the... I'm going to go in for a sip. At the back end, salt. Oh. Very, very, very subtle. Salt and pepper. I got like a salty, like peppery finish on this. Ooh. A little bit of. It's almost can, like drinking brine. Yeah. Yeah, it's like very salty. Ooh. Very salty. Very salty. I don't know if that's. A, I don't think. I don't think that's the alcohol burn. Like that's. Uh, that's I'm not just getting. Salt. I'm not getting any alcohol burn from this. So, I'm getting it's a not, very very little amount of alcohol burn. I'm just getting salt. Am I getting much on the front of my tongue? Not in the mid palate, I'm getting a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of vanilla, caramel cream. Yeah, all right, caramel cream. Um, finish. A lot of salt. A lot of. Like pepper. I'm starting to get some wood notes on the finish. Yeah, as I look for more notes, I'm getting starting to get past that salt. I am getting the wood, but it's almost three. like a blended wood, like like a like sticking your nose in a pile of sawdust. Like a little bit of cherry wood, a little bit of walnut wood, a little yeah. bit of oak. A little okay. bit of water. I was getting a little more of that cherry. Yeah, I'm I'm definitely smelling cherry. Yeah. See, I'm, I'm getting, like, more of the citrus. Okay. Holy sweet forward the water. Notes. Holy sweet? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's yeah, less it, it, salty, it, it, definitely more... Yeah, it definitely gets up the salt It's like lot. It's like just sticking a teaspoon of honey in your mouth. Much more tolerable with the water. I'm still getting salt on the back end. Yeah, there's still definitely some salt yeah. there. Yeah. Um... I think you would have to put, like, half and half water to make it not taste yeah. salty. Not that much. I'd say... I'd say probably if you're going to go with... I'd say two-thirds. Probably two fingers of this and one finger of water. Or at least a really big ice cube and let it melt. Yeah. I like that a whole lot better now. I'm still not a fan. I still get a lot of salt. Else. Yeah. Huh. What I'm getting from this is like you're out in the ocean on a sailboat and you're smelling that salt air all around you and it's just kind of wafting out of these mm -hmm. glasses. And then you just dip your hands in the sea and just chug. Yeah. Yeah. This is what I imagined like 
the the Dead Sea tastes like with all, all the salt that's in it. Yeah. That's interesting. All right. All right. So here is. So we want the professional tastings, right? Yes. And yeah. I am curious to know if I nailed it with the lime rind and melon. Well, these are so these are the top answers. Doesn't mean all the answers, just the top ones from several sites. Uh, it's just copy and pasting reviews into these sections, and then seeing what the top notes are for each. The nose, palate, and finish. Uh, number one for the nose: vanilla, caramel, fruit. Uh, so generically, fruit. I um, guess that's very specific. Some citrus, melon, uh, spice, and wood. So I didn't say anything about salt. Sorry, Mark. I didn't think it was salty on the nose. Okay. Um, palate: vanilla, caramel, spice, pepper. Which we said we kept saying salt, but I, I, there was pepper there, but it was definitely <laughs> very salty. And then finish: wood, medium finish, spice. Nowhere did it say salt on the professional. No. Mm. Not professional, just like from other review sites. Yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting if, more... they were, if they were professional, they would have picked out salt. I mean, some of them are professionals, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely way sweeter on the nose than mm -hmm. it is on the tongue. Yeah. yeah. All right. Definitely so, recommend cutting this one with water. Yeah. Yes. Which is surprising uh, for mm -hmm. me, knowing what's going on. Uh, so let's talk about reviews. Nose. I liked the nose. Mm -hmm. I'd give it like a three and a half. I, I give it almost a four. Four? Okay. I'd give it like a three and a half. All right. Palette. Two. Yeah. The the licking the ocean. Yeah, I'm, I, maybe I, I might drop it to one and a half. I'm giving it a one and a half. One and a half, yeah. I'm sure there's it, worse things in the world, but that was rough. Yes, it is definitely better with the water. Yeah, definitely better with water. But then that may, begs me the question, you know, if you're cutting it with water and not really able to enjoy it neat, is it really worth the purchase? Well, if you think about it, if you buy a bottle and you want to wire it down to get it to the appropriate place, it means you're getting more for your money. True, true. You are stretching it out. Which is why some people really like cast strength whiskey and yeah. bottled and bond whiskey. Uh, finish. I didn't mind the finish. Yeah, I'm not it wasn't with it. The finish like, was actually pretty good. Yeah, all things considered. Yeah. yeah, especially especially after a cut with the the extra bonus sweetness that came out of it. It's almost like salted caramel. I think I'm still only giving it like a two and a half though. Yeah, personally. two and a half. I think I'll give it a three on the finish. All right. So ratings for the professionals. Uh, distiller gave this an eighty-eight. Out of 100. Out of 100. So it's higher than our uh, previous whiskeys. Uh, Whiskey Advocate did not have a review for it, so no rating from Whiskey Advocate. Proof 66 gave it a 398 out of 782. That seems accurate. Yeah, and it's just low compared to the, some other things that we've seen. And it's it's under the middle of the road. All right. So do I want to go into review, or do you want me to tell you how much we paid for this bottle? First off... I'm going to guess it was a scotch. Okay. I don't know what I think it is. I'm going to guess scotch, given the saltiness. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's why I'm leaning that way. All right. It wasn't very peaty. So, me reveal? Yeah. Reveal? Yeah. All right. I'm going to guess, guess lower end on the proof. I'm going to guess yeah. 15 bucks and... Yeah, somewhere around 80. It's 80 proof, 15 bucks. We need scotch. All right. Uh, all that is wrong. That was Ezra Brooks. Kentucky Straight Bourbon. Hmm. Wow. 90 proof. 90 proof. Costs uh, about 12 bucks. Okay. But 90 I'm proof. I close on the price. Yeah, yeah, you're close on the price. Give me yeah. the price. Get the price. <laughs> So but yeah, the saltiness is very surprising for them. Yeah, I don't know where that's coming. So actually, I, I may have an idea. Sour mash. Yeah, it is a sour mash, uh, which means that they like reusing parts of. It's kind of like having a, a mother for your yeah sourdough bread or your vinegar. Um, so this is yeah. So this is a uh, Ezra Brooks Kentucky Street Bourbon, ninety proof. 
Uh, we know that it is at least four years old because it is labeled, labeled as a straight whiskey um, and there's no age statement on it. So they're, so straight, straight whiskey has to be two years, but if it's under four years, then it has to be labeled as such. So because it doesn't have an age statement on it, it's at least four. Uh, the mash bill is 78% corn, 12% rye, and 10% malted barley, uh, for which is pretty common in, in bourbons, just get that extra sweetness and uh, help with the fermentation. Uh, cask, it's bourbon, so it's a new charred oak barrel. Uh, don't know what level of char it was. Yeah, the distillery is Luxco or Lux Road Distillers. And what, I was looking at the website, and an interesting thing that I found about this, which may attribute to some of the notes that we had, is that this is actually charcoal filtered. That will definitely okay. alter so much. Yeah, so charcoal filtering is required for Tennessee whiskey. I try to remember, I believe it's pre going to the barrel. They have to filter it according to the Lincoln County processing filtering uh, step. So to be, to be labeled Tennessee whiskey, they have to have that. That's not true of Kentucky whiskey and bourbon, but I don't think that's common with bourbon from my recollection. No. Um, they do dump and filter, but not usually with charcoal. So that does add a lot of change to taste. Mm -hmm. I was expecting this to taste more like Jack Daniels than bourbon uh, because of that. And you can still charcoal filter and call it bourbon. It's just, yeah. So that was interesting to me. Um, and I don't, I don't think I like cared for that though. I didn't particularly care for it. However, for $12, Great. And knowing I can make this last longer by cutting the water, yeah, I would probably pick it up for twelve dollars. I think it would be a good mixer. Yeah, mixer. Um, I'm yes, absolutely. I'm wondering how it would taste with Coke. The drinkable kind. Yeah, some Coca Cola, some Pepsi's, maybe some uh, Royal Royal Crown. Some of our viewers may be on low budget whiskey because they're on high budget other stuff. So. It's a Coke call. <laughs> yes, I'm specifically saying Coke the beverage. Ah, I see what you're saying. I, the fact that it's 90 proof also means probably be, it's going to be able to cut through a cocktail a little bit more. But that was the part, another part that was surprising to me, like 90 proof for $12. I was, I was betting it was low proof. So. Right. Yeah, because there, there's not much. Oh, I got alcohol burn that time. A little Kentucky hug. All right, well. I think that's all we have for this review. Uh, do you want to start us off? Oh, I got nothing to toast with. No. May the winds of fortune sail you. May you sail the gentle sea. May it always be the other guy who says, This, this drink's, drink's on me. me.